Well, unlike Governor McKee, I'll prioritize naming permanent directors to DHS and DCYF. I won't leave the agencies understaffed chronically and won't outsource the work to a for-profit corporation. Uh, DHS, back in February, said they needed 90 additional positions. Governor McKee said no. He left 100 vacancies unfilled. He's now trying to outsource the work of union experienced employees to Deloitte, the same for-profit corporation that caused the UHIP disaster. Uh, and now we've got people waiting in lines for hours to get the essential services that they need and working people just often can't do that. So as governor, I will fully staff the agencies. I will name permanent directors to, to the DC, DCYF and DHS. Uh, I will not outsource the work to a for-profit corporation and will open the field offices that have been closed. I will also increase funding and access to mental health services, counseling services, addiction services for parents and children so that we can shift some of the burden of this work uh, off of DCYF so we can play the role it is intended to play, which is, which is a solution of last resort for families. And lastly, I will work to make sure that parents have the resources that they need to care for their families raising the minimum wage to $19 an hour, enacting Medicare for all so everyone gets quality, free health care in this state, expanding paid uh, family leave, and building tens of thousands of affordable homes and capping annual rent increases. All of this will put more money in the pockets of working people in this state. Thank you.